Janet here from The Mummy and the Monkey, and this is a little bit different from the regular videos we put out. I know on Friday nights we host the Harry Scary Hangout where we play cheesy B movies. This time around I'm doing a haul video showing some vintage Barbie dolls and accessories that I picked up at a private pick. And um, yeah, you'll get to see them. So if you like uh, collecting retro vintage toys, things like that, you might dig this. I also have a bunch of G.I. Joes I need to sort through too. So I think I'll do that for a later video. But for now, it's Barbie time. <laughs> okay, gang, well, let's start with the Barbie stuff. So we um, were visiting someone and they were cleaning out part of their home and we did purchase some things. To, uh, some of them are for keeps, some of them I'm reselling. Um, this is not part of it. This is a uh, vintage reproduction Barbie doll that I actually use as my model to model Barbie clothes. So she's my model. <laughs> she's naked right now. Um, okay, so here's a vintage Ken doll. He's got that groovy hair. This is actually mod hair Ken from the 1970s. He's got something going on with his chest there. Maybe he was trying to grow chest hair. <laughs> but I'll have to give him a bath and get him cleaned up. He looks to be in good condition. So I think he's okay for the age. I just have to see if we um, can find his original outfit and we could sell him with his outfit. Here's another Barbie. She's got pigtails and glasses. She looks like she could be like part of the Malibu uh, Barbie gang. Her hair is parted in the middle there. Her feet and hands look like they're okay. So it looks like she's okay. There's like a spot there on her neck I need to clean. Here's another Malibu type of Barbie doll. Her legs are a little, oh, okay, that's right. This is the one with the damage to the leg. I'm gonna have to glue her leg back and then note that in the listing and just sell her for parts. Poor girl, oh no. Um, sometimes if the dolls and toys are stored in hot climates like an attic, um, the plastic can get all weird and melty and it looks like that's what happened with her leg. It got all weird and melty. Okay, here's another Barbie doll and it looks like she's got tape or something around her legs. So I'm wondering if she has damage to her legs also. There's a speaker on the back of her and a little pull string. So this must have been Talking Barbie. I think Talking Barbie was from the 1960s, early 1970s. She has a cute hairdo and rooted lashes, but unfortunately, oops, um, her face has a green spot there, and I'm not sure why her face has a green spot. So she is damaged, so I'm going to have to sell her um, for parts or repair. So she won't be worth as much because of her condition, but that's okay. We will get her a new home. Someone crafty might be able to repaint her face or try to fix her up. In the past, I've tried to fix um, dolls like that, and it's very difficult to. So I think I'll leave that to the doll experts. Okay, and these are some clothes. This is actually the outfit for that Ken I showed you earlier. This is his little outfit. Look at the little jacket. That's adorable. And then I think that goes with it. There's Ken's dicky. <laughs> yes, you heard that right. There's Ken's dicky. <laughs> so that goes to the super groovy Ken. Um, here's another groovy Ken outfit. It does have a few spots there. I'm going to see if I can wash some of these clothes. There's like a matching shirt there. That's really cute. And then um, here is a Barbie doll jacket. And I think this one's handmade. It looks like it's handmade. It's not marked Mattel or anything. It has the fake fur accent. It's like a beige color, maybe mustard color. There's some little glasses. I'm not sure what that goes to. It looks too big for Barbie or Ken. Maybe some other doll. And then here's some hair, someone's, you know, hair extension. Um, I think this went to maybe Quick Curl Barbie or some Barbie hair um, playset thing. And then these are little like doll hair clips, I think, to style the hair. So there's that. Um, here's a fun little, little hat there. And this outfit's adorable. This is actually a Shulman outfit. And Shulman was a company that um, made like Barbie doll knockoffs. 
They made their own line of fashion dolls. So this is marked um, 1969 Hong Kong. And it says exclusively for Shillman, but it would fit Barbie, um, you know, and other fashion dolls, but that's super retro with the matching hat. That's really cool. And then there's a Barbie doll wig <laughs> for um, that might be for fashion queen Barbie or some other doll like it where she came with wigs and you can style the different hairdos. Okay, um, this one, I didn't see any markings on. It looks like it's a little jumpsuit. It has a lacy top and the built-in little bell-bottom pants. And it has metal snaps. And if there's any Barbie people watching this, um, if you know what these are, put it in the comments below because I'm trying to figure out some of these. Um, some of them I know and some of them I'm still researching. There's like a little top there with little flowers on it. And then it looks like that's the matching skirt to that top. It's super groovy. It's really cute. Um, here's another little, uh, maybe a nighty shirt. Some type of little pink top with like a little jacket or robe. That might be for Skipper. Hmm. Yeah, I think that might be Skipper. Alright, and this looks like it's handmade. That might be a skirt or a top. You know, it looks very... Um, very simple and primitive. I think someone was trying to make their own doll clothes at one point. <laughs> um, this looks like it could be handmade. This is Ken pants and then a little Ken sweatshirt with 73 on it. Maybe that's the year they made it, 1973. It's really cute. Um, I don't know if that's from an actual play set. The stitching looks like it, it might be handmade or it could be like a knockoff. Sometimes it's like really hard to tell. There's some more Ken bell-bottom pants with the little metal snap. It's like a plaid material. Um, this might be a long dress for Skipper doll. It's like a flowery, fruity print with a little top. And that's cute. They have it on a hanger. This is a Barbie doll little leopard coat. A leopard print coat. How cute! I love how detailed some of these are with Barbie and even with G.I. Joe. The accessories and the clothes are very detailed. And um, that's just too cool there. Here's a little robe with flowers on it. So there's that. And then there's like a little nightie underneath, like a little nightgown. Super retro. I love how bright... And how colorful that looks. The fabric looks to be in really good condition for the age. So yeah, when I research these, then I'll start taking photos and I'll put them in my eBay store. I brought out the rest of this one bag. There's all sorts of small things. There's like little hangers. There's a little brush. I think that brush goes to the quick curl Barbie doll. Um, there's a little yellow nighty in here like a baby doll type of nightgown for your Barbie with a matching yellow hanger. <laughs> There's um, a little plastic purse that's marked Hong Kong. It looks like the handle's broken. That could be like a Barbie knockoff. Um, oh, this is the little beard and the little mustache for the mod hair Ken. It looks like his mutton chops are missing. Yes, that Ken doll. Let me bring him out. <laughs> that Ken doll came originally with a stick-on mustache and mutton chops and a little beard, like a little goatee beard. Isn't that funny? So yeah, we're just missing the mutton chops, but maybe they'll turn up. Maybe we'll find them. Okay, let's see what else is in here. There's like a little vest or a jacket there. That might be for Skipper. Um, there's more little hangers, uh, a little tiny, tiny, tiny Barbie-sized camera. How cute. <laughs> There's some more hair pieces. These are like little curlers for your Barbie. Look at all these little hair thingies, like braids, extensions. I think that's another curler type of thing for your Barbie doll. There's a comb and little hair ribbons. This is so funny. And these look like they go to little um, like mixed drinks, the little parasols. And it looks like someone kept them for their Barbie dolls, like little mini umbrellas for them. Uh, what is this? Oh, like a little satin pair of pants. Some pink Barbie doll pants. You never know when you need pants. Okay, um, here's like a groovy little dress type of thing. It looks like a halter style uh, long dress. 
and it looks like it ties in the back. I don't see any markings on it, any tags. I don't know if that's Barbie branded or not, but that does look pretty groovy. I love the retro fabric. Um, let's see what else is in here. Oh, so this is the dress that goes to the original Quick Curl Barbie. And I think I have Quick Curl Barbie um, in another bag. Yeah, I think she's in another bag and I think I have to give her a bath. And then there's a little, um, looks like a night, another nightgown and robe type of set with satin trim. It's made out of a terry cloth. That's pretty sweet. This looks like something for Skipper doll. It looks smaller, maybe for Skipper. The fabric looks pretty clean. I don't see stains on it or anything. It has the little metal snaps, the little tiny buttons. <laughs> Here's like a Barbie dress with a little apron. That's so cute. And what's that? Oh, like a belt? Maybe that's a belt for um, Barbie or Ken. Maybe that goes to the leopard print jacket, like a big chunky belt. I'm not quite sure. There's like a little briefcase type of thing, a little, little travel case. And then there's a few more smalls in here. There's like a little pink, um, like a little pink top. Ooh, and what's that say? <gasps> it has the original tag, Barbie by Mattel. How cool is that? So that's a Barbie top right there, like a little sweater top. And then there's another little yellow uh, top and then some more ribbons. So, okay, I think we went through everything in this bag. Let's check out what else I have left. Whoa, okay, but oh, wait, there's more guys. So there's a couple dolls here. This is Quick Curl Skipper. There she is. Her hair is a little messed up, so I'm gonna see if I can fix it and uh, get her a new home. All right, and this is Quick Curl Barbie. It looks like someone put little beads or something in her hair back in the day, and she needs a bath. Her arms and legs, face, they're all dirty. Her hair's all all ratty so we have to fix her up all right and then um there's a formal dress in here some type of red dress with snaps and it's not i don't think this one's marked barbie at all this might be for another fashion doll um, but it is very cute the fabric's a little worn there but it is super cute okay and then Let's see, this is some type of cape. Looks like some type of weird fake leather cape with some weird gold chain accents and a zipper. I don't know what that is. That might be a knockoff Barbie type of thing. Weird, right? Okay, and then there's this outfit here. It has bell bottoms and like a see-through skirt and this little top part. And it's very strange. I don't know what that's from. That, that's a different looking one, right? Okay, there's a little veil type of accessory. Another little hair ribbon type of thing. And I'm in my eBay photo booth doing all of this because the light is the brightest and it's easier to see all these little details. So I thought I would film it in my uh, eBay listing booth. So there's a little sheer top. There's that skipper dress. Here's another skipper dress with little flowers and bows. Super cute. And all right, what's in here? This looks familiar. And it has like gold accent, a yellow skirt, this sheer thing over it. Um, I'm trying to see if there's a Barbie doll tag in it. I don't see any Barbie tags. It does have some snaps there. It looks like maybe there was another piece that snapped to the top part there. So I don't know. And then there's this little top. It's like flowery. Well, that might be a dress. Maybe like a short dress. I'm not sure. But it's super retro. So we'll move these out of the way and we'll go through those other things there. All right, what else do we have here? Well. There's some type of little Barbie doll jacket with like Sherpa, like a fake Sherpa material. Um, there's some Ken pants. They look like they're, uh, they feel like they're like a suede type of material. 
faux suede, another hanger. Um, this looks like a Barbie doll skirt, and it looks like it's probably handmade. Here's like a little top to go to the skirt. Um, oh, there's a whole baggie of shoes. Nice. Okay. So there's Ken shoes, Barbie shoes. I see those little flat kind of skipper doll shoes in there, little boots. Those green boots are pretty awesome. Would you wear green go-go boots? I think I would if I had the right outfit to go with it. <laughs> um, all right, there's another hanger. What else? Oh, there's like a dress. It has this groovy um, like bubble pattern with a green halter top. There's that. Okay, so these are the towels that go to Malibu Barbie. I think those are like the little um, beach towels. So that's kind of cool. And then there's another skirt. It looks like it's corduroy. And if you see how the frayed the stitching is, that's probably handmade. That's like a little um, handkerchief type of thing for your hair, like a babushka for your Barbie. Here's a formal dress. And I don't know if this one's for Barbie or another doll because the snaps look different. And it has um, like fake fur on top and it's velvet. The velvet part's a little worn. Um, oh, and there's a little fake fur, like a little stole that would go around Barbie's shoulders. So maybe it goes with that dress. It looks like they kind of match, right? They look matchy-matchy. Here's what, a blue dress? There's a little blue dress with a snap there. That also might be handmade, I'm not sure. It looks different. And what's this? Oh, that's Malibu Barbie's little blue swimsuit. So there's her swimsuit. And here is a Barbie skirt on a little hanger. Wow, look at that fabric. Would you wear something that bright? <laughs> I don't know if, if I could wear fabric that bright, but it is fun. I think the right person that would look cool on them. Uh, there's another hanger, kind of matches that. Ooh, la la, Barbie underpants and little garters. <gasps> Ooh, Barbie lingerie. There's a little dress with like a built-in apron. Uh, the fabric's a little stained up and discolored, but maybe I could wash that. Maybe we could get that looking nice again. There's a flower print Barbie pencil skirt. And let's see, a little dress. The dress looks handmade. Again, the stitching looks real simple, like it could be handmade. Same with this, um, it looks like a ballerina type of thing, like a tutu. And then what else is in here? There's like um, a veil, some type of veil thing. And then this is a really tiny dress. I don't think that's for Barbie at all. That's way too little. I'm guessing that's for Dawn. That's for the six inch Dawn fashion dolls that were made in the early 70s. I've sold those before. And this is a little shirt with like umbrellas on it. And let's see, what does this tag say? It says Tammy by Ideal. So this is for Tammy. Tammy was a different fashion doll made by the Ideal Toy Company. Um, this goes to Barbie. That's some type of mesh thing. I think it goes to a swimsuit. There's um, little underpants or swimsuit bottoms. There's something there. There's another um, swimsuit little thing. And what is this? What is that? Oh, there's another Dickie. There's a Ken Dickie. Hopefully I don't get in trouble on YouTube for showing Ken's Dickie. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, look how great those are. There's some Barbie doll um, booklets. So cool. I'm happy about this bag. I'm going to clear this off, and uh, there's one more little baggie to go through. Okay, this smaller baggie I picked up at a yard sale last week with a couple other dolls, and I think I paid $5 for the whole bag. It was kind of random. I think there was a Bratz doll and a Monster Hall, uh, High doll thrown in there. But this is a Barbie skirt. 
Um, the fabric isn't in good shape. It's kind of beat up. Here's a little pair of jeans. These are retro Barbie jeans. And there's um, Velcro on the back. So that might be 1980s, 1990s because of the Velcro. Let's see, there's a little shirt here with an M on it. It looks handmade, but it actually isn't. Um, it says Barbie by Mattel. It has the original tag there. So that's really old, probably early 60s. Here's another skirt. The fabric's really beat up and it's another handmade piece. There's a little Barbie dress. That looks like that's probably from the 1970s. Sorry if you hear a crinkle sound. Um, I'm in my eBay listing station and some of the material crinkles. <laughs> um, here's a little jacket. That's like fake fur or something, maybe wool. More Barbie jeans. This has a rip in it, but it looks like that could be stitched back. What's really cute is it even has like a little zipper fly with the YKK zipper. So that's really retro. Even has a little pocket on the butt. That's really cute. There's um, a lot of detail in that pair of jeans. Here's a Barbie skirt. Has hearts on it. Some type of, you know, girly heart. Maybe Valentine's Day. And then this dress, I don't know. Probably not an original. It looks like a reproduction of a Solo in the Spotlight Barbie. So that's the dress that would go to that doll. And then last but not least, what is this? So it looks like there's garters with little stockings. <laughs> and is this a corset top? A bustier? Oh, okay. It's a little Barbie bustier with lingerie. Ooh, fancy. This is like the Victoria's Secret type of thing for Barbie or Fredericks of Hollywood. <laughs> Fancy. All right, so we went through everything, guys, and uh, hang on a minute. Let's do a wrap up. Hey, well, thank you for watching the video. And yeah, I want to do more haul videos in the future and more uh, behind the scenes vlogs. Uh, definitely. I know it's not gothic or Halloween or scary movie related, but it is pop culture and collectibles and other people like that too. The way our channel is, it doesn't fit neatly into one category. Um, this channel talks about all the different things that we like to do, including reselling and collecting and finding cool retro stuff. <laughs> so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up if you're watching this on YouTube. And all right, I guess that's it for now. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you around.